My name is Philip Alensos. I work at King's as a senior research fellow, and I'm looking at how biological threats today are being shaped by developments in the life sciences. Biological threats are about the deliberate misuse of science for hostile purposes, and we're specifically talking about disease and infection. Some of the areas that we're particularly worried about are gene editing technologies, gain of function technologies, where you are deliberately creating potentially pandemic pathogens in the lab. Fortunately, there is a multinational treaty completely prohibiting biological weapons. The challenge for the treaty is essentially that there is no check to make sure countries are complying. This is of increasing concern because the number of countries that are developing biological defence programmes which are permitted under the treaty is increasing. Alongside that, we've also got developments in science and technology that are decreasing the barriers to developing biological weapons. My work mainly focuses on the United Nations. An example of the sort of work I'm doing at the moment is to act as the coordinator of all the non-governmental organisations. It's incredibly important for states to reassure one another that the sorts of activities that they're involved in are not offensive. An example of my work looking at developing transparency between countries would be a peer review exercise that I was invited to take part in as an observer, where you had a country, Germany, inviting about 20 different states to come visit its biodefense facilities. We also have to work from the bottom up with scientists to make sure that the science that they're doing is being done responsibly and transparently. We do that through awareness raising and outreach and education, developing guidelines, risk assessments. The main aim of my work is really to make sure the Biological Weapons Convention remains strong and to make sure that scientists are aware of the security implications of their work and that they behave responsibly and ethically.